Hey guys, it's Jana and Caitlin again, and tonight we're going to be showing you how to do no heat paper towel, eh, paper <laughs> towel curls. Um, as you can see, I've already put her hair half up so that I can reach the bottom. So, yeah. <laughs> First thing you want to do is obviously put your hair half up. So that you can reach the bottom of your hair um, so that you can work in layers instead of just having like lines of curls because then it makes it more full like this so you want to take a good sized piece of hair so I mean it's not too big not too small you want to take a spray bottle and spray it down and get it damp not wet so like if you just came out of the shower, let it air dry a little bit um, so that it's damp but not wet. Um, then you want to take your paper towels. Um, ours is about a one quarter of a piece of paper towel. And you want to take the bottom. Hers is very long, but you want to take the bottom and wrap it around the paper towel. Doesn't matter which way you do it, you just have to be consistent with the wrapping. So I'm doing it that way. And then, I know I'm out of, partially out of the shot, but you want to roll it up all the way to the top. Keep going. Just keep on rolling. <laughs> Her hair is almost to her butt, so it's pretty long. Um, so yeah, you just keep rolling. Until you reach the top. Then you want to fold it over. Tie it. And there it is. You moved your time? Didn't you? Yep. I ripped <laughs> part of it off. So that could be a lesson. Don't pull too hard. Because <laughs> it is paper towel. <laughs> okay. And then you want to grab another piece and do the exact same thing. And you're pretty much going to do that on your entire head of hair. It's all of your hair. So once you get the bottom done you're gonna go with the top and then the very top so I mean depending on your hair and like how much you have and stuff like that okay. so again damp not wet So yeah, you just kind of want to take it, wrap it around the paper towels, doesn't matter which way as long as you're consistent, and then you wrap it up. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Caitlin's dog is snoring. So I apologize. <laughs> My animals are messed up. Don't blame me. My human like pet. Yeah, right. <laughs> that cool. dog is all dad. Okay. And then you want to tie that one as well. <laughs> See? <laughs> okay. Sorry, he just snored again. You couldn't hear that. Go on, point out what the animal's fault. You can't say nothing about the other cat. What do you mean? The other cat doesn't have flaws. He doesn't have flaws? That's what I said. 
pretty sure all things have flaws. One well, minute, you can point it out right now. That's true. Okay. So yeah. Pretty much just keep rolling. And then I'm gonna finish these all up. And I will be back when I'm finished rolling these. Okay guys, we're back. As you can see, I only have about two more left. Um, so I actually got all of these done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the last two and then you'll be able to see what it looks like with all of her head covered in paper towels. <laughs> This isn't enjoyable for me at all. Um, <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see how it turns out tomorrow morning, just because I've never actually seen this before. Um, probably shouldn't have admitted that, actually. <laughs> Don't worry, she's really good at it. Even if she's never done it. And I trust her skill. Hey, I mean... When you got it, you got it. And you roll, and you roll, and you roll. Like a puppet roll. <laughs> I like chocolate. I can vouch for that. <laughs> so does she. I can vouch for that also. <laughs> Don't make fun of my laugh. So yeah, once I get up to the top, I'm just tying them all tight but not so tight that I like rip it like the first one yeah like the first one <laughs> and you had to say that Caitlin yep was that payback yep it always is so yeah I'm just lightly spraying them down and then combing them out <laughs> And fixing that one. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're doing this, you probably want to, like, change directions of a few of the rolls. Just so that all of your curls aren't, like, going the exact same way. But, um, with this method, it's never really, like, set in stone how your curls are going to turn out. Just for the fact that, um, you know, you're, gra you're grabbing different amounts of hair, um, obviously different people's hair types are different, um, so it's never going to be the exact same, um, but that's the fun of it, actually, um, because then you get to find out what it's going to look like. And that is what she looks like with a bunch of her hair in paper towels. Um, still look cute. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is it right here. Whee! So, uh, we will see you in the morning after it dries and she wakes up with... After I sleep on it. Sparkles on her head. After um, I sleep on it. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Hey guys, as you can probably tell, uh, we just woke up and she has definitely slept on the paper towels. So we're going to go ahead and take them out and show you what they look like. So you pretty much just unknot them and roll them down just like you would with ordinary curlers or you can even just pull them out like that. Shoot. you can like finger comb them or whatever and it gives you a nice bouncy curl okay so we're gonna do the second one 
So yeah, just unroll. there that's what you get really bouncy really small um, when you finger comb it though it's gonna be really really cute so yeah just one twist and twist and twist Um, and while I'm thinking of it, if you guys have any suggestions of what you would like for me to do a tutorial on, um, could you please leave it in the comments? Um, because I just think it would be better if people out there told me what to do instead of me trying to think of what they might like to see. Thank you. <laughs> And again, her hair is very long, so depending on your hair length, it might take longer um, to take them out or less time. Um, but in my opinion, it's worth it. on the last paper towel. And it's a really cute curl. Um, depending on how big the pieces of hair you get are, they're going to be different sizes of curl. But I think hers turned out really well. Um, the next step, just because they're kind of um, pieced separately um, because of staying separated all night. You just want to go through and finger comb and kind of like find your part and part your hair there and just kind of mess with your hair. Um, if you're the kind of person that uses hairspray, be my guest. Um, if you use gel, go right ahead. Um, just with our thin hair, we don't use much of that stuff, um, but we'll probably use a little bit of hairspray. So yeah, it's nice. So yeah, I'll kind of spin her around so you guys can see. See, it's very, very 
bouncy and I know it's kind of hard to see because she has really dark hair but these very bouncy curls you can separate them more or less depending on what you individually like So yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave in the comment what you would like us to do tutorials on so that we can get on that. Thanks.